Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? <sighs> That's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. I'm a doctor. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. I need to get to a town up north. Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash... The thing my friend might have... I need it if I'm gonna help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in the plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here? To Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. So the people up north, in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't going to tell me what they are. No, I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't going to tell me what it is either, are you? Right. Well, you are a lady with a lot of secrets. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there, and it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help. But I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and get on with my work. When you're stronger. So, I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to have... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space. I need to think. I'm sorry. <sighs> Stay out of my shit.
soon. Sports a bit.
Hello? Thank God you answered. Molly? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. They have me surrounded. They're smart sons of bitches. Who has you surrounded? Are you in trouble? Not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. Sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower face, key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker, grab the rifle rounds, take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else, got it? Stay soon. It's a bit, but I'll make it.
That smarts a bit. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Molly, I was in your basement. Right. So? I, um, I found the body. Oh, shit. Molly, who, uh, who was it? Just, it's none of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. Huh. No fire for a town meeting of some kind. Looks like the town's not too far from here. If Mackenzie did pass through, he might have ended up there.
Perfect.
prison guard. Oh, shit. Feel my hands. this. Come on, little fire.
sure I can carry much more. Nobody needs this anymore. Well, this stuff will come in handy. I just want to die. 